Hello there! In this very short video, I just wanted to share with you how I am using right now Amazon SageMaker for some of my experiments. Uh, because uh, as you might have noticed that Amazon SageMaker Studio has been changed. It has a new look and feel and some new functionality, which is amazing. But the old stuff was moved into Amazon SageMaker Studio Classic. And uh, I'm not sure how long they will be side to side, the classic version and the new upgraded one. So I really wanted to use the latest, uh, the freshest, what has been designed and still kind of benefit uh, from the features which I was appreciating before. For example, uh, to use quick start models and to uh, put that into notebook and to run the inference um, uh, with just a couple of clicks. So I'm going to show you how I am doing this right now with some new amazing stuff uh, from the SageMaker. So we're going to use a code editor but before we do that, um, let's load some models. So we actually will select a model. Um, so let's go into hiking face models. You can select whatever model you would like to use. I want to use, uh, for example, text summarization. Uh, let's sort by the most download. So we select something which is quite popular. Uh, let's go actually with this one's a bit uh, fresher and I just need it for an experiment. So we are going to use a model which will take some long input and provide us with some kind of output, uh, which will be the summary uh, of what is written. It's definitely which, um, which I need to do for all my talking. So um, let's deploy that model. And yes, I will sell it, I will keep the defaults um, and we'll wait till this is light so i click on the deploy and we successfully created the endpoint which we will need uh, just a tiny bit later uh, but for now let's look at some of the properties which we have so over here in the test inference tab um, we do have uh, two options uh, we do have the test sample requests uh, through the uh, JSON editor, but also we do have use Python SDK example code. And this is what we are going to use for our notebook. Uh, it has some typos, but we will fix those. And also uh, you might have actually noticed, where was it? Uh, if I will go back to the model, to the model, where was it? Which one did I use? Uh, this one. So it actually says that the deployed model can be used to run inference on any English text, okay? Um, and uh, you can open that by clicking open notebook on the model endpoint. But this is if you are using the classic uh, the classic studio, which if you want actually to use, you can go to the experiments and then you can go to the uh, classic studio or uh, somewhere from uh, here. But we are not going to use that. We are going to use our created endpoint um, and the code which we copied from uh, the example from this use Python SDK example code. Let's give it a second till it will be created and then we can start with the code editor. And it is in service. So let's go to the code editor. I'll create a new code editor space, which I will call it code uh, editor. Create space. Keep the defaults and run the space. We'll have to wait for just a bit, hopefully. And now we can open the code editor. And finally, we will be able to create um, our notebook. So here, a lot of very smart options which you can use, but we're going to simply create a new file, which will be our uh, Jupyter notebook file 
and I know that there is a separate section in SageMaker Studio uh, for the Jupyter Lab and here you can uh, use Jupyter Notebooks. However, I really prefer the code editor because uh, it gives me a place where, first of all, I can clone that stuff and work like in a real project where I can write my code, write the tests, uh, I can uh, create some flows, I have several notebooks side by side and, and do a lot of different things. Even though I admit I am not a Python developer, so I might be missing something and if that's the case, uh, please write that in the comments below so that I can um, learn more. So I'm going to paste here the sample code which we have copied, which uh, includes the uh, input text as well as the way how we should query the endpoint uh, and the parser response. So this has everything which we need, which actually would go into that notebook example uh, which was previously available and which is now available with so the classic version. Um, it's it's kind of actually nice to have those examples because uh, calling an endpoint is not like majority of the models will have a very, very similar um, uh, way to invoke the endpoint. However, there are some kind of like you need to know which properties to get and, and so on. So uh, having an example really helps. So let's try it out and see what it works. I will select the Python environment. I will select the recommended one uh, and let's see what we get. Okay, and we got the inference. So it repeated the input text uh, uh, using this and then gave us the model prediction. And this is how you can use SageMaker Studio, the jumpstart model, one of those many you can use, and a code editor space. I hope this has helped someone. Thank you for watching.